All right, guys, welcome back to the Western PCs. Now, what we're gonna do today is undervolt and effectively increase the frequency a bit, so it's technically a bit of an overclocking with lower voltage on this Ryzen 9. 3900 XT. It's basically the same as a Ryzen 9 3900 standard version. It's just a better bend model. So let's get straight into it. Now to do this, what you will need is a program software called the Ryzen Master. Okay. Now you can download it straight up from the AMD website. Okay. But I will leave a link down below just in case. So let's get into opening Ryzen Master up. All right, so it might give you a disclaimer like this one, just hit OK. And now we wanna go over here onto profile one. And now you wanna be sure that we go on manual for overclocking, OK, go on manual. And then here, we wanna have both of our CCD mode active. And now you wanna click here until you get this green thing. This will sync all the values for you. Now, you wanna go right here, and now we'll give you two presets, one, is for 4300, so 4.3 gigahertz. Now, out of the box, uh, this Ryzen CPU under full AVX load goes to 3.7 gigahertz, which is far less than advertised, but we're gonna make it run at 4.3 or 4.2, depending on what you choose to follow. That will give you a very good performance uplift in multi-thread application. And then after the tutorial, we'll discuss the implication, but now let's just get into the tutorial, okay? Now, you wanna go here, set 4, 4 to 300 so 4.3 gigahertz and now under here on the voltage control okay you want to include it and you want to go here and just hit 1.25 okay then hit apply finished that's it it's going to be stable for everybody so no need to talk about it now if you want to go for a bit more efficiency and it's what i actually recommend what you want to set is 4200 okay and then you want to drop this all the way down to 1.2. Now this is gonna be, and then hit apply. This is gonna be my recommended setting. I think everybody should do this one. Okay, just copy this. You wanna test this in intensive application like Prime95 or a stress test that you like. You can also use the apply and test function here to test it. If this doesn't work, just hit 1.225. This is gonna work for literally every Ryzen 9 3900X or 3900XT in existence. So just copy that, okay? But I think this is gonna work for you. So try this one out. Tutorial finished. Now, in case you wanna stay a bit more, now we'll discuss what we have done and what you can do if you wanna improve it a bit by yourself, okay? So basically, out of the box, Ryzen CPUs go all the way up to 1.45 volt, which is really high. Here we are at 1.2. They do that because they overvolt the CPU in order to reach higher single core frequency. It's called PBO, it's the AMD Turbo Boost, okay? The problem with that is the frequency goes up and down, up and down, up and down. So while it gives you a higher single core score, this thing is gonna lose you about 5% in single core. That single core score isn't actually effective in real world scenarios. So if you try the 4.3 preset I gave you, you're actually gonna get more FPS in games that, than if you were running it at stock while getting in lower temperatures plus you're getting like 15 percent more performance in a professional application like video editing rendering and stuff and you're doing that while having lower temperatures so this is a no-brainer amd literally is pushing the 4.7 thing just to advertise it and to be able to get better benchmarks out but this is better for real world scenarios now in case you want to play around with this a bit uh, the frequency ranges i found is that you can go up to 4.4 if you're really lucky so 4400 megahertz over there and for the voltage anything under 1.2 really doesn't work and if you go over 1.3 you're effectively damaging your cpu plus it's more of an overclocking than an undervolting because you're effectively uh, upping the voltage so i would personally recommend you stick with the ranges i've given you honestly the 1.2 at 4200 megahertz is i think what everybody should be running but if you have a very good cooling, then the 1.25 with 4.3 gigahertz is gonna give you uh, ever so slightly more performance. So try that one out. And this is it, the tutorial is over. It took me quite a bit to figure this out because it's not easy to test uh, dynamic voltage and frequency ranges, but this is it, it's stable. And again, try it out for yourself and let me know if it worked for you. Bye.